my wife was watching the Murdoch trial. And uh, what else is there? Right. And she watches she's she's got a portal to the courtroom and watches every bit of it. She and she's she's literally seen every second of this trial. She's taking the raw feed, the raw feed. (laughs) And uh, it's taking place in South Carolina. And she's so into true crime. We mentioned that yesterday that so many Americans are into true crime right now. So she turned to me and she said, can you pick up Catherine, our daughter from school on Tuesday? And I said, yeah, no problem. Because usually she picks up. And she said, I'm going to the trial on Tuesday. Oh, uh, She's road tripping? Uh, mm-hmm. And I said, you're not serious. And she said, I am serious. I'm driving down. Monday's President's Day, so there's no court. She's driving down Monday. She's staying the night. She's going to all the trial from beginning to end on Tuesday. And she's driving back late Tuesday night. And I said, I know you're joking. And she said, I'm not joking. <laughs> And I said, why on earth would you? I, I said, don't you think this is crazy? And she said, no, I don't think it's crazy. I didn't say it was crazy when you went to see a Red Sox game, did I? <laughs> and I said, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I said, that's baseball. Yeah. I said, yeah. she goes, you went to Boston to see a Red Sox game. And I said, yeah, I went yeah, to Boston to see a Red Sox game. They tend to be entertaining. Mm. <laughs> There's at least an entertainment <laughs> element. Oh, we all have our... In sport. That's right. And I said, don't you think this is a waste of money? And she said, "Um, how much money did you waste on pine straw that is no longer in the air? And I said, "Mm mm-hmm, you're right. Here's the keys. Do we know? (laughs) Look, when a woman's made her mind up, oftentimes there's not much that a man can can say. It was done. Do we know that she'll be able to get into the courtroom? She says... She's rolling the dice, Ooh. but she's she's going to go. She picked out her favorite bailiff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's she going to wear? How far I drove. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she, she's Ca- caressing his badge. Do you like crumble cookies? <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. She. I'd really like a seat in the second row. I know families in the front. <laughs> I'll take third. <laughs> and she's very excited because the defense starts its presentation tomorrow, and she'll be there for the second day of the defense. And she's already looked at the witness list, and she says, <laughs> <laughs> best lineup of so far. Best lineup is the witness list. She knows it'll give you a playbill when you walk in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she needs one. She's does your making wife... her own. She's handing them out at the door. So... Yeah. Does she plan to travel alone? No. That's another thing. She was. She was planning on traveling alone. And then I said, well, I said, is anybody going with you? She goes, nope, I'm doing this by myself. And I said, don't you think maybe someone could go with And she said, I'm going to ask her cousin, Stephanie. Yeah. Well, within three minutes, Stephanie's like, in. <laughs> <laughs> and I so just, much for the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there another kook uh, person you could take with you? <laughs> At least it's in a nice town. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's down uh, near Charleston. Near I'm Charleston, yeah, but it's not, not, not Charleston. in Charleston. Well, I made that mistake. I said, "Isn't this in Charleston?" No, it's uh, forty-five minutes it's outside. Walterboro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I said, I, I just looked at her and said, "Are you being? Are, is this real life? Are you actually?" And she said, "Absolutely. This is my passion, and I am not." And she goes, "I've told you from the beginning." And I assumed she was joking. She'd say, like, I got to get down there. And I assumed that was a joke. It was not a joke. She's made the plan. She's she's canceling her classes. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. She's canceling her classes on Tuesday. She's got a substitute already. And she's traveling Monday night. And Stephanie's going with her. Now, she's done. So no re- hotel. This is an all uh, down no. and back. No, she's taking no, a Monday. hotel. Monday oh. night, hotel. Right. Then Tuesday morning, she gets up. And you have to be there between 4.30 and 5 a.m. to wow. get in the front of the line. Yeah, you gotta Lord. Sleep. You got to wow. You got to sleep out for tickets. And I said, <laughs> right. And I said, but uh, Stephanie usually doesn't get up that early. She goes, well, if she doesn't get up, I'm going without her. I will go. No holds barred, yeah. I will be at that trial. She goes, I'm going to wake her up and, at 4, and we're getting over there to get to that trial. What's she going to wear? That's the million-dollar question. She's shopping for wardrobe over the weekend, <laughs> and then she's going into that trial. Not black, I hope. And I just... <laughs> Do you wear black to a murder trial? I don't know. It's well, just... this is my first murder tr- murder trial, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you wear white. <laughs> we don't want to look like the judge. <laughs> no, you don't want to roby thing. I want to upstage don't want him. Thing. Yeah. I just, and I can't, like before we went to bed. I said, are, "Are you? You're just this. You're winding me up. This is a wind up." And she said, "This is not a wind up." And I kept making the case, and she kept saying, "Didn't you go to Denver to see a Broncos game?" <laughs> oh. She's trying to out small town you this weekend. Yes, I'm going to Walterboro. You're going to Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just All can't. Right. I can't score any points. I just, I, <laughs> you can't win. She said, "This is good to go." You she can't said, put a glove on her. She's going. I know. I can't put a glove. She's going. I mean, it's done. I have nothing, and I'm still. I think I'm three more years before I can say a word because of that unfortunate pine straw mm. purchase mm-hmm. of a year ago. Are you slightly concerned that she might be just a little more obsessed than? Yeah. <laughs> then it's healthy. Then it's healthy. Of course I am. What do you think about her comparison to this versus a Major League Baseball game or a, or a football game? Well, there are others at those games. <laughs> <laughs> they tend to congregate. That's what I was thinking. But it's, it's just. But I didn't know there was a line outside mm-hmm. to get in. I don't know that that's real. I don't know. I think she just. <laughs> but it's a different. I mean, every gathering of, of humans mm-hmm. kind of takes on its own entity. It becomes a community. But the community at a ball game, a football game, baseball game. It's different. different. It's a different thing. Well, yeah. it's yeah. cheerful for it, one thing. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is a murder trial. Now they're similar in that you don't know which team's going to win. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Is it possible your wife will get dismissed from the court for an outburst? Uh, a 50-50. because she has not held her tongue when she's watching right. the proceedings. When she's watching, she'll yell out things that she thinks because she thinks he did it. Of course, look at the DNA. Right. She'll say <laughs> stuff. She might say something like maybe that. maybe she's hoping possibly. to be an alternate. <laughs> Well, I think, I think that's that ship has sailed. They've already done that. Well, they've they've gone through. Uh, they've got a couple out with COVID, and she's afraid they're going to run out of jurors. So maybe she'll raise her. Whose hand eye is she it. trying to catch? I don't know. The defendant? I don't know. The not judge? The defendant. She hates the defendant now. She. I know, she, but just does she to, want to look him in the just eye? Just to have him look at her. She might. She wow. she wants to be in the same room with. Him. I saw evil. I just cannot believe she it. She might holler murderer and then get tossed out. She, at the end. I she'd think love she, that. I think she'd hold her she tongue would? the end. She'd make the feed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I spent the night in the jail <laughs> for contempt. <laughs> right. Court was halted today when a loon hollered out. <laughs> <laughs> I slept underneath his cell. <laughs> it says here they brought snacks and uh, energy drinks. <laughs> What is this, a movie? <laughs> Flanders, you're talking about going to the trial. It's her passion. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give you a future prediction. need to save up some bail money because after all of her objections, she's going to be yelling out, you'll be traveling down there too. You're right. I mean, that's right. It would not shock me in the least, Flanders. Wouldn't me, me either. I might be I might be off on Wednesday and go down there to get Haley her Hudley bail bonds. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to play a little bailerino. You could have knocked me over with a feather when she said it. And she was sitting I mean, for the first five minutes. I was like, hearty har, ha, ha. Yeah. Sitting there with a the grain bowl. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Some right. of guzzling some quinoa. Sure. And I, I almost choked on my quinoa. Yeah. I mean, that's how bad. That's how I could not believe it and then today this is interesting too today Do you th- i wonder uh, obviously people will go to this trial it oh sounds yeah. like people are lining up yeah do you think she will have traveled the furthest i don't know i mean that's i mean a, just to be witness i mean obviously media will go there from anywhere yeah what is it a five-hour drive something a like that ride. at yeah. least yeah five six hours she may be the person from furthest away. Maybe she'll maybe they'll she'll raise her hand and say, "I came from." Then she'll get a trinket. I'm or pulling something. for. Her. I hope nothing goes wrong. I hope they don't have a. You know, Does the day I do state. crowd work? Yeah. Anybody here from out of town? <laughs> <Anybody>? <laughs> we want you to warm up the. Uh... <laughs> Who do you think is going to win so far? The <laughs> DA. Thanks. It's like after people's court. <laughs> like, come out. Doug Llewellyn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chris, you're talking about this trial, this Murdoch trial. My wife will be there in person next week. Go ahead. I, just, so, just so you know, she doesn't have to be there about four or five. I went there on Tuesday, and uh, we got there at seven o'clock, and we were probably like the tenth person in line. So uh, seven o'clock, she'll be okay. No, nope. this is good information. Well, what did you think when you went in? Was it uh, exciting to be in the courtroom? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a different experience watching it on TV. Of course, me and my girlfriend, we've been you know following it. We're from you know kind of in the area, mm-hmm. and uh, it's, uh, it's a different experience. But it's uh, it's worth it if you've been uh, following it. Well, okay. Well, then in that case, it sounds I, like that she needs to go. How can I argue it? Thank you, Chris. Of course, I wonder if, if she could roll into a. Uh, if she had an extra day, obviously she's got mm-hmm. work commitments and uh, mm-hmm. evidently family. <laughs> but she might make a t- side trip over to the crime scene. Oh, I wouldn't put you that past her. You know she loves that. I would not put that past her. She very well could do that. That may be what she does. Maybe she mm-hmm. does that, you know, Monday. I could during see the holiday. That. I could absolutely see that. Oh, wait, leave Sunday. Yeah, she, why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, make, you know, it why not? make it a two-nighter. Make it a two-nighter.